Hey guys, Luke here, your digital concierge of Gramophone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very premium all-in-one audio solution. This is the RS200 by Macintosh. Designed for the modern streaming lifestyle, the RS200 by Macintosh offers you virtually everything you could need for enjoying all of your content, be it music, movies, or TV playback. And it does it not only in style, but with maximal performance for a product in this category. But before we talk about why this is one of the best products in its class, don't forget to subscribe to the Gramophone channel and click that bell notification icon because I don't wanna see you guys miss out on anything. We've got a lot of premium high-end products just like this one on the way for you. Now then, let's dive into the RS200. First and foremost, this thing produces a total of 650 watts of power, which should be to the surprise of no one as making some of the world's finest amplifiers ever, and that certainly is on full proud display here. Those mighty amplifiers are driving eight titanium drivers, which would explain my surprise when I first heard this thing play. Here I was expecting it to be better, but only marginally so than say a $500 smart speaker. The RS200 surely is a hi-fi system and a single compact unit. You have eight titanium drivers, as I said. Two of them are large woofers mounted underneath, pointing downward, fanning your bass energy out into the room. And it actually works really well, mind you. You then on the front, have two titanium mid-range drivers and a single titanium tweeter on both sides running in true stereo. And these little drivers really, really deliver. Plus when you take the grills off, look at them, this concave shape. Don't they look really cool? However, for you bass heads out there, or for those who just need a little bit more, this does have an integrated subwoofer output that you connect simply with a single coax cable. On the back of the RS200, you'll also find a selectable EQ switch, which will extract best performance out of this unit based on the placement in your room. So keep this in mind. If this is mounted on or near the wall, you're gonna to wanna to select, quite obviously, the wall position. If freestanding, select the middle position of the switch, precisely for that. And if this is sitting on a table, select that option. And of course, guys, it's a Macintosh. To anyone who knows, one of Mac's features, always worth mentioning, is not only their incredible performance, but their longevity and their extended value. These things don't depreciate and they last forever. This has a measured signal to noise ratio of 103 decibels, giving this thing fantastic dynamic range. Macintosh products are known for having very very quiet black levels, as in, like, no noise floor. All right, time to talk about the design aspects of the RS200, and of course, let's start with the basics and cover the dimensions. So this is just under 25 inches in width, just under 6 inches in height, and just under 13 inches in depth. Also, it weighs 29 and a half pounds, so it's got a little heft to it as it should, as it's a high quality audio product. This can be integrated to fit into just about any space underneath most TVs, sitting on a tabletop for a room listening system. It doesn't demand a lot. And at just about 30 pounds, it has that beautiful black glass look to it. The black fascia with the rear printed glass, the sweet glow of Macintosh green, and of course, our fan favorite, light up blue meters. Not to mention, the sweet aluminum heatsink integrated on the back. And to finish it off, they offer you these easily removable grills made in the nice classic matte black speaker cloth. They pop off easily if you want to look at your drivers because these drivers do look pretty cool. But to keep everything clean and handsome, they easily pop right back on. Really, what else can be said about a Macintosh? It's like wearing a tuxedo all the time, yet it still blends in even to the casual home. Let's start with the wireless options, as they are more than you may expect. This is equipped to Bluetooth 5.0 for the absolute best quality playback over Bluetooth, as well as with the longest range. And of course, that's going to guarantee maximum compatibility with other Bluetooth source products, be it phones, streamers, you name it. The Bluetooth 5.0 is also built around Qualcomm's Aptex and Aptex HD, which is pretty much the highest resolution format for transmission over Bluetooth currently available. This also has Apple's AirPlay 2, so you can cast directly to it from an Apple device, 
And as some of you guys may know, but if not, AirPlay 2 can play in full CD quality now, whereas AirPlay 1 could not. It can't go above that, but that's pretty good. And it also can be used with voice control, either around Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. Finally, it offers DTS PlayFi. PlayFi is an integrated streaming service much like Sonos uses on their products, or Marantz and Denon using Heos on theirs. It's an all-in-one solution that gives you multiple sources to choose from while running natively within the unit itself for maximum playback quality. And this implementation of PlayFi is compatible with high resolution formats. So if you wanna stream from say, Tidal, Amazon, and many, many more, natively and the best available quality, you wanna use PlayFi. So make sure you pick up the PlayFi app. It's very easy to use and works quite well in the RS200. Also guys, you'll notice that there are four touchpad buttons on the top of the RS200. You can use all four of those to save a different PlayFi preset to queue up your favorite station, artist, or album whenever you like with a simple touch. Finally, PlayFi has an integrated critical listening mode, which is something you can enable that ensures that no downscaling or bad transcoding will take place whatsoever and the RS200 will receive maximum quality files. But basically, I'd tell you guys, just always leave that enabled. Make sure you're always getting the best. Now, lastly, guys, let's finish up on the physical connectivity of the RS200, which is also very good. You have a USB Type-B for running out of a computer or a USB-equipped streamer. I love seeing USB on products like this. More manufacturers, please implement USB inputs. You have the good old-fashioned optical for out from your TV. And better than that, you have HDMI ARC for the highest resolution signal pass through from a TV into a device like this. Thank you, Mac. That was great forward thinking. Again, more manufacturers, ARC, please. And lastly, there is the old guard three and a half millimeter auxiliary from playing analog off of your phone, a media player, or what have you. For $3,000, the Macintosh RS200 is that product that not only looks incredible, I mean, look at it, and sounds incredible. If you guys want to take that step into the world of true hi-fi, but want a convenient way to do so with an all-in-one solution, the RS200 is your guy. Head on over to skybygramophone.com to pick one up for yourself. You can check out securely, have it sent fast and free straight to your door. And I highly recommend you guys take advantage of that link if you're looking for an RS200 because this is one of the few Mac products that can actually be purchased online from an authorized dealer. And of course, please come visit us and hear this for yourself. You can come demo it at one of our showroom locations and you'll find us in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland, as well as at our Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley, Maryland. Don't forget, we are on social media now. You'll find us at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, as well as a few others. Just check the links down below. If you guys need any help coming up with project ideas, if you need to schedule a service request, or if you would simply like to speak with one of our hi-fi, home theater, and interior design experts, go get yourself inspired at gramophone.com. Seriously, there's great stuff on that page. And ask at gramophone.com if you have any questions for me about anything I've covered here on the channel. All right, guys, thumbs up if you like this video. Tell me what you think down below in the comment section and get subscribed to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. But I wanna hear back from you guys about what you wanna see from us in the future, what you think of Macintosh, and if there's any specific Mac products you'd like to see as well. It's always a pleasure doing this for you guys. I have a lot of fun. I hope that you all enjoyed. Be seeing you.